The James Pinot Noir is a relatively new blend of several vineyards down on the Central Coast, down in the Santa Rita Hills. The James was named after Bill's son, James, originally because the wine somewhat mimicked uh, James' personality at the time. It was a little bit of wild, it had a lot of youthful exuberance, and, and, and that's what they saw come through the wines. And we tried to carry that thought process through as we're blending these wines each year. So it comes from three very distinctive vineyards down in the Santa Rita Hills, one being Rita's Crown, which was down by the town of Lompoc um, at the end of the Santa Rosa Creek. Across the street from there is the La Rinconada Vineyard and the Sanford and Benedict Vineyard, two of the oldest vineyard plantings in that area. Sanford and Benedict, one of the blocks was planted in 1974, so we're getting some fairly old uh, genetic material into this. We get several clones in the neighborhood of 10 different lots. So we have a huge expansive palette, if you will, of flavors and aromas to be able to blend to so that we have some consistency with the James year in and year out. And for me, that's really what's fun about doing these blends is that we can blend to a vision or to a point no matter what Mother Nature happens to give to us that particular year. This wine has really bright cherry and raspberry fruits. It's got some really nice aromas. I've had people even say that they smell kind of the sea air, the sea breeze. There's a saltiness or saline uh, aroma to it. And I get that out of some of the blocks, especially from Rita's Crown, which is a little more exposed to the ocean. The flavors are very vibrant and exuberant, uh, much like James and the wines go really well with anything from pizza to hamburgers, fish, uh, salads. It's a very versatile wine, I think, because of the crisp acidity and that, that vibrance uh, and that verve that it has. 